and relief efforts are underway to help those who have lost everything in Hurricane Dorian. Atlanta's Bahamian community is now banding together to send help to the islands who have been simply ravaged by the storm. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson live in Atlanta with how they are both coping and mobilizing during this really unimaginable time. Ashley. That's right, Alicia. The Bahamian family here, or the Bahamian community rather, considers themselves one family. They are coming together through the grief to help those back in their homeland. We brought the islands here to Atlanta. Annette Hanna owns Conch Heaven and spends her days whipping up Bahamian specialties. We have conch salad, conch fritters, stew conch. We have steamed conch. While she now lives and works in Metro Atlanta, her heart remains in Freeport, Grand Bahama, which was devastated by Hurricane Dorian. My son is there, my brother, my aunts, cousins, everyone is there. Many in the Bahamas have lost everything. It's why Hannah has made both of her restaurants donation drop-off locations. All items will be turned over to the Bahamas Consulate General. The hurricane motivating other Bahamians to also get involved. Seeing the aerial view of how my home looks is just so heartbreaking. It's like... I feel like someone took something from me. D'Angelo Pinder, who's originally from Abaco, has turned his Riverdale home into a donation drop-off center. People will stop and call. I've been receiving all type of calls and people asking, hey, is it okay to drop it off? I was like, sure, it's on the porch. I was afraid. Well, I think this is the most afraid I've probably ever been in my life. Sonia Natasha Brown, originally from Freeport, tells me she was overwhelmed after finally making contact with her parents. She's now helping to organize relief efforts in DeKalb County. The Bahamian people are such a strong people. They're such a resilient people. And we see each other as one family, one Bahamas. Now, the Bahamas Consulate General is taking the lead on donations, but there are spots around Metro Atlanta where you can drop items off. We will have a list of them on the CBS 46 News app. For now, I'm live in Atlanta, Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News.